crush their dreams. Things get a bit goofy. Why that feels disingenuous to me. Well, again, who is the content for? It's exactly what I think YouTube is afraid of. I took a break to rethink what I want to do with this channel. Warning to this creator and beyond. I had a really nice surprise this week. I found out that VidIQ audit my channel, which was really, really nice because I, I didn't know what to do. And actually, I now really more confused, but I'm sure that I will find out what I should do. I, I want to react and answer um, the questions they asked me actually uh, in the video. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this one, I think. Oh boy. Uh, Pink Dreams Home Design. We shouldn't really say that, right? We, we don't want to have fun <laughs> with channels because it may we're not here to have fun. crush their dreams. But Dan noticed something uh, really quite intriguing about these shorts. Dan, which is your favorite My one? My favorite's to watch the second here? one. So this one. All right. So I'll mute it here. Uh, so see if you can spot uh, what might be a little bit wrong with this mm. shot. It's very simple. It is just a static image panning from right to left with some music. Have you seen it yet? Dan has got a super eagle eye for this. I didn't notice it until you pointed it out. Dan, what's going wrong here? I want everyone to look at the legs on the table. Thing a askew there, uh, which means only one thing, right? Which uh -huh. is? Mid-journey. Mid-journey slash AI generated content, we believe. So they, they found out really easy and actually I'm not hiding it. it. I have it in the description. In the description of the video, uh, I wrote that this uh, kitchen was designed by AI, by Big Journey, and also on my tags, I also write there that it's Big Journey and AI because I don't want people to think that it's a real kitchen. If people see this kind of things like the, the legs that are off or the text that is upside down or if they have like I have video that I have Mickey Mouse there and one of them have three ears <laughs> which is really funny immediately recognize it which which is good for me because I think that people should know that it's not a human made it because it's not it's just for inspiration this videos gave me so many uh, subscribers but you can see that i have 856 subscribers and they recorded this video a week ago and i want to show you my channel today let's go to youtube studio and you can see i have the same amount of subscribers so what happened I stopped uploading this kind of uh, short two weeks ago and since I stopped uh, uploading this kind of shorts, I stopped gaining new subscribers. My guess is that all of my subscribers don't really care about my channel and they are not going to go to watch any video that any long videos. I look at that number and I think to myself, okay, so I still need to get 150 more subscribers to get to the thousand subscribers I need for the monetization. But, but when I go to the earn section, you can see that I have only 325 watch hours, really small percentage. It's even not 10% of the, of the watch hours I need. Okay. So I'm pretty far away. 856 subscribers that I have here are not going to give me the watch hours I need. Even if I will upload more and more videos, it's not going to give me the watch hours. I really appreciate that, that they pick my channel and they answer me some questions. I really had a question myself. Some long okay. form videos as well, uh, like this one, for example, and I will just crank up the, well, you can hear the music a little bit, just static images. Well, the music might nurseries. be copyright. We, we well, know. that's why I'm talking over it, Dan. I'm just continuing. Uh Okay, so they say that the, the music is copyrighted and they are right. I used uh, Epidemic Sound music, which is supposed to be not have any claims or any problem and you can use it and everything. And they say that they are going to get copyright just because they are on live stream and they can't get the license for the music themselves. I have the li license for the music. There's Two things that tip me off company. to this being image generators. If you look at the things on the chairs, and you look at the pictures on the walls, the details, things get a bit goofy, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, the reason we're kind of chuckling is because uh, the, this is this is so cool. Like image generators have come so far and it's really interesting to see what they can produce. 
Um, but when you really look at them and scrutinize them, it's, it becomes very clear very quickly that you're looking at something that was just made up by AI. Oh, yeah, you can see on the carpet that is like weird text that I can't yeah. read. It, yeah. it still can't do text very well. And then like the characters, like whenever there's like a teddy bear or something, it's missing an arm. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. What is that? What is that? So, okay, like that's why we said we were going to have fun with this one because this is just fascinating, honestly. Um, here's my thing about this channel. It's called Little Hero Baby Boy Nursery, and the channel is about interior design. Why that feels disingenuous to me is because... It's so unfair that they say that it's feeling dishonesty because this video I didn't wrote, it's by me a journey. Just because I wrote it in other videos, I didn't feel that uh, I should write it here also. Because you are, tr you, it seems like you're trying to play this off as not AI art. You know, and, and it's it's almost like, no, this is like real interiors to inspire you in your t interior design exploits. I think that um, although it's created by AI, it also could be created by um, designer. Maybe the designer can make the details better. And also designer that creates stuff like that. Also, he made up stuff. So I don't think that it's different than taking uh, images from designer because I don't think it's look like a real picture, like they're 3D renders. And when you do 3D renders, usually you're not creating something that is really in the real world. You still need to go afterwards and check to see if you can see the uh, chairs and everywhere and the, and the table and you not always can find it, even if you're like even if you go to let's say Pinterest and you see real pictures of interior design, when you see the pictures, you can you you tell yourself, okay, so this is really nice uh, table. Where can I get that? And then you find out that this table was created 20 years ago, and now you can't find it anywhere. So it's always like that when you talk about uh, interior design. Also, if you uh, if I live in Israel and we have different kind of furnitures here, it's not that I'm going to trick anyone. I feel like I really felt really bad for myself <laughs> and they say that I tried to trick someone because I didn't really try. Um, it's not my thing. I'm okay. So we can see here, this is a video that I've got from a designer that designed this apartment. Okay. So basically this apartment does not exist anywhere also. Okay. And you can see it's the same, it looks the same, the materials and the finishes and everything, it looks the same like Me Journey created for me. So I feel that it's kind of the same. And this is also uh, images that goes from left to right or from, you know, from top to bottom. Even if you aspire to have this room, the big problem is a lot of the stuff is made up. So even you can't have like affiliate links in the description where people are like, well, I like those chairs. Where can I get them? They're going to have to search high and low to try oh, and figure out. Yeah, Why what are I those? Click on one of these. I don't know if you should. <laughs> oh, I... Okay, they they are debating themselves if they should click on the affiliate link. Okay, so disingenuous, wrong word then. Uh, when you when it comes to the description, but as an interior design channel, it does it does beg the question like, well, again, who is the content for? Is it for people who like uh, and are fascinated by AI images, or? Is it for people who actually want to get interior design tips? Uh, they asked a really good question. And this is where I'm staying in now because I really asked myself the same question. Okay, so I started with one uh, goal in my mind, but I thought that it wasn't getting much traction and people didn't look at the videos I created with the 3D renders, with the real designers so much. and. When I started to create this kind of videos, people watched this video, okay, uh, 299 Scandinavia style modular kitchen design ideas. I got 1500 views. And if I go into this um, details analytics, okay, for this specific video, you can see still get views until today. Most of the people are coming from suggested videos. I got clicks from YouTube search. So people search for that and this is a really good sign. Okay, I also gained nine subscribers from this video, which is also really good. I want to know how many people are staying after 30 seconds. Okay, this is like the most important factor, if the video is good or not. Okay, 
So 70, 71% of the people that watched the video were still watching after 30 seconds, which is telling you something that it's really interesting. Okay, so people like it. But also 16% people, 16 of the people watched until the end. Okay, which is really, really good. And it's 11 minute video. So I think that this kind of video there, they have their place. If, like for me, like, you know, like I've just gone through this whole renovation of my space and I talked to an interior designer and while they did mock up some images for me to help me like get my head around it, like there was, a, it was a very different process than just having an AI like generate something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but that is not the point. It's not, I don't have a point that people will get that and say to them, say, oh, this is exactly what I want. Okay. How I create that. The idea is more inspiration. Um, when I go to Pinterest to look at images, usually it's the same process. I just look at the images. I know that I'm not going to create the same thing, but I get the idea. Like, I don't feel like w these would help me in my journey for redesigning my studio. Just, it just kind of put something together based on a hundred couches it's seen. Or it's almost as if this channel is like um, embracing, they're leaning in to the AI um opportunities here like mid journey version 5 253 modern kitchen designs and that is exactly i think and i could be wrong about this it's exactly what i think youtube is afraid of like this type of channel a million times over i don't yes. know how long it takes you to create these channels the point is that everyone can do that and it's very quick to create those uh, videos yeah i agree with him Everyone can create this kind of channels. And this is what I was afraid of when, like, when I stopped working on this channel, I took a break to rethink what I want to do with this channel. And I'm still in this phase of rethinking of this channel, what I should do with it. If a, an a interior architect did all of 299 Scandinavian modular kitchen designs, it would take them like three years. Yes. How long did it take you? Maybe 90 minutes. I don't know. That's a concern. And then when I watch the video itself, it is just music throughout. There's no text. There's no voice narration. So from the viewer's point of view, what value is being added here? Like, Okay, so this is the point. Okay, I don't think it's not giving anyone value because, of course, people watched it and they watch it until the end. So basically, I, I'm not agreeing with him that it's not adding any value. I see a lot of value with these kind of videos, but everyone can make it. And this is my, this is a point that I was afraid, not about that um, that it's not making any value because I think there is value with only music and with uh, showing the, the videos because I like to relax sometimes and watch other videos that shows uh, is a show interior design. And like in six to 12 months time, Dan, when Mid Journey has perfected text and ch mm -hmm. chair legs, like it's going to be really hard to distinguish whether this is 100% AI generated content. So this is kind of like another warning to this creator and beyond. What, what's the goal here? If, a, if your goal is to get people to click on these links and to purchase uh, stuff from you, like uh, there's actually not one in here. but that the, description um, is almost like a script. Like, I'm yeah. wondering why they don't read that while the video's going. Yeah, interesting. But he say that this kind of video are likely not going to get monetized by YouTube, by, by the YouTube Partner Program. And when I heard that, I said to myself, okay, I need to change something. I don't know what exactly what I should change. And they are going to give me some advice. And I might get... I'm, I might going to take that uh, advice. I'm not sure yet because I need really to think what I want to do next. AI wave coming and the two channels we've looked at are really on that threshold, on that borderline of whether the content's going to be accepted or not. Let's, let's talk about how you can make this content a little more original. Yep. Thank um, you. And I was pointing to it with the description. If you look at the description of these videos, it looks like they've spent a lot of time like talking about what the video is about. Okay, so I didn't spend that much time on the <laughs> description. I just went to ChatGPT and told him to write me something about the topic that the the video was about. This looks like a video script to me, and I don't understand why you didn't choose to voice narrate over it. And then you also get a chance to talk about like, so I generated this in AI in in, in Mid Journey, you know, and 
and it created these really interesting ideas. And then, um, so imagine stacking the value here. So even if even if ChatGPT wrote this, I don't care. Imagine stacking the value. So we have a nursery, right? You're like, look at what AI generated. I wanted to try and recreate this to see if like, could I find a crib like this? Could I find a changing table? And then you go on like Amazon, you try and find similar furniture pieces to what AI generated. Like imagine that's a- That is really good idea. I'm not sure I'm going to do that, but it's really good idea to go create uh, images in mid journey and then go to Amazon or Walmart or Ikea or whatever and try to find the same furnitures. A way different video and it provides real value and it's fascinating. And just on that topic, the idea that there there are people who are like, well, AI, like I, I don't want anything to do with this. It looks like it's there's all kinds of pitfalls with it. it okay, he talks about the chat. The chat um, of this live stream got really, like people called me lazy <laughs> that I created this kind of video. But actually, I don't think you are lazy when you do this for 12 hours a day and also i didn't do that by laziness i just wanted to experiment with something and i think that people sometimes you know it's easier to what to like to look at that and to look at other people work and think that they are lazy you you should like when you do some experiment you should create enough content so you know if it's work or not and then you should prove it if it's not good enough or in my case, I think it's good enough videos. I think it really can work, but other people can do that and it can't be monetized. And for me, this, these two points are the real points. It's not that I don't think, I think that my, my videos having value and I think people are enjoying it. I enjoy it myself. I really like to watch my videos. Yesterday morning, I told myself, I told my husband, but I sh what should I do? I should create more like, video like that with me journey or I should not and I also just I just renew my me journey subscription subscription two weeks two days ago um so I told him what should I do and then he told me you should you should create more like that so I created in five hours five videos um I had already a few of the images and I also had two videos that I created two weeks ago before I stopped uploading because, you know, all of the situation. I was debating myself, what should I do now? I started this channel to be automation channel. I don't, I do, I don't really want to create the video myself. And because I, I don't think it's a good idea to create more than one channel at a time. And I'm creating this channel also. And I have other channel also. I gained 856 subscribers on different channel that I'm not sure what to do with it right now but I know that again that already so I recorded yesterday they have another live and I asked uh, I, uh, I added super chat with my question um, before they audit my channel I understood that I need to, to do some changes in my video I wanted to create something with AI voice and to, to try to see if this can be monetized because already I, I have channels that might not get monetized. It took me, f I think, three days to create with ChatGPT the script because I really want to perfect, perfect it and because my English, as I told you, is not the best. This is what I asked them and this is their answer. Pink Dreams, uh, thanks for last week's audit. Can videos edited by humans, not AI, with AI voices, stock content, and music slash sound effects get monetized? We answered this at length last week. So, Sean, let's have your thoughts on this. I mean, no, do you? I don't know. Because I. They audit uh, one channel that have that immediately you can tell that they used software that edited for them. And it was really like, you know, of course, AI voice and stock images and music and everything, but it was not edited by human. You can see that it's not edited by a person that put, a, you know, put some thought about everything and and choose something specifically for that situation. Or is there is there a black and white answer? I think it's going to depend channel by channel, right? Like, well, then it's not how, black and white. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if it's black and white. My personal thought is now that. AI has just jumped a thousand miles ahead in the space of a couple of months. There's more and more opportunities to do AI generated content. Mm. 
and YouTube keep using this term of like in the spirit of monetization and creators being authentic and genuine. I don't know how much that aligns with the concept of AI and being able to mass produce something. At... I didn't want to mass produce. Okay. It wasn't my intention anyway. Okay. I wanted to create something. So I don't, I didn't want to create something that you can create with mass production because I'm sure that these kind of videos are not going to get monetized. In, in a batch way. And with the way these new monetization rules about application, in that if you fail your second application, and a lot of creators fall over the reused and repetitious aspect of monetization. Okay, this is the other problem I had. The problem with the kind of videos I created, YouTube announced that they are not going to monetize YouTube videos, like YouTube channels that use reused content and repetitious content. And basically what I've done is, is directly, so it's really hard to tell if it is going to monetize or not, but it's in, it is on the way. And maybe when I will get to the monetization phase, um, I will get not money. I will not get monetized. So leaning to programmatically generated content, maybe AI, I have my reservations. But we're not YouTube, so we can't give a definitive answer. We, I, we... So they can't answer it. But they still have some valuable uh, insights. So let's it's hear It's kind that. of representing the creator's voice. I mean, look at it from our point of view. If we see a channel that's creating 100 AI-generated videos that a human could, couldn't possibly do, is that fair? But does the YouTube recommendation system decide anyway? Because if these videos are of quality and viral, uh, quality and value, YouTube's not going to serve it up to the audience anyway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we did talk about this for a long time last week. I don't think we're going to get any further down this road until we have any like concrete examples of where people may be falling into this new chat GP generated video content, mm. repetitious reused barrier that we don't know yet because not enough people created videos about their channels if they are got monetized and used the same methods um, of using AI voice and stock images and everything. We don't know yet. Basically, this is what he say. And this is a hint of what I'm thinking of doing with this channel. I would argue that the edited by humans part would not be the most human part of that process though. Like, cause whether, I mean, I, I'm sure eventually YouTube scanning videos will be able to be like, oh yeah, that seems like an AI edited that. But editing, you know, could really be done by anybody. The voice, that, okay, well, that one seems a little stronger. Like, oh yeah, that's probably AI. Stock content, perhaps Google scanning YouTube algorithm might start seeing, and I start noticing it these days too. I'm like, oh, I've seen that girl a lot. She's in everybody's video, you know, like <laughs> I've seen that. I was actually uh, yesterday watching a video and these people were having a video podcast conversation and one person was in front of a mic and one person was in front of like a shotgun mic, not plugged in, in front of a, a, a wind, uh, you know, pop filter. And I was like, that's not even real. Like, that's such a B-roll. <laughs> and then I had an idea. I was like, how funny would it be to make a critique comedy video about B-roll clips that everyone's seen or like pick apart, like circle the things because a lot of times B-roll is untrue. As I digress, even that might someone might say, okay, this is this this is clearly like a percentage. What percentage of this video is kind of a recycled, which I think are things to lean into. My thought is that if you are bringing a soul to the software, that Google will reward you. Mm. That's. When I thought about using AI voice and AI stock and all of this, I thought that in the process of editing, I will create something that is not going to look like all the other videos. Because this is the point actually, okay? If you create the same video as everyone else, you're not creating anything new. 
this could be something I will create, but I'm not sure yet. I will let you know in the next video I decided to do uh, with my YouTube channel because I don't know yet what to do with it. I'm still debating myself. Yep. I think it's exactly what it is. YouTube, for, for lack of a better term, and YouTube's not using this term, I think YouTube is on the lookout for low effort content. I'm not saying that Pink Dreams or anybody here is making low effort content. What I am saying that it's now more possible than ever to make low effort content. There's a number of tutorials that I'm seeing everywhere now on how to make a hundred shorts with ChatGPT or something like that. And when you watch these shorts... Actually, I created a hundred shorts a day and it should be in different video also. But I created a uh, hundred videos, hundred shorts a day and uploaded it to YouTube. And I think it's really interesting what happened with that. But I don't think it's a good idea to do that. Like or these videos, it's very clear to see like how you can generate a ton of content all at once. And I think that's really what YouTube's looking out for. It are people who are not really putting, like Sean said, their soul into the content. I remember this channel now. It was the one that was a was doing videos with like 200 different interior design oh, um, images, yeah. yeah. you know, with, and sometimes the chair legs and things looked a little bit weird. And it was only music and there was no narrative. And we were kind of wondering, would this be monetized? And we, we weren't sure of the answer. Yeah. Um, so best of luck. Uh, let's see here. So Thank you. Now I need to go to my parents to take their kitchen to so we can renovate our kitchen. <laughs> it's, it's the second time we take second hand kitchen uh, for our kitchen.